from Bangor, Maine to Bangalore, India. Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans from around the world. It is an extremely exciting time in Clash. We've got the brand new October season. We've got Hammer Jam underway, incredible discounts, everybody working feverishly to upgrade their town halls and their accounts as far as they can because a lot of people are predicting something very interesting after the end of Hammer Jam. What possibly could that be? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's move on and talk about, okay, talk about the brand new Archer Queen skin for October. So happy that they went with a Halloween themed and I'll have to tell you, one of my personal favorite skins of all time. I love the Spooky Queen. I think she is amazing. I am a big fan of Halloween as well. So we're absolutely going to pick her up. Generally, you can tell my excitement for the skin about whether or not I gem the gold pass. And we are just about to do it as a warm up for any gemming we might be doing in the near future. So it sure would have been nice if I could have used some of these runes and books for gemming a future update, but no, we are overflowing with magic items. So I did my best to pick up the best value, which mostly ended up being in gems rather than runes, but that's okay. Also, you'll notice that no, I did not max out clan games on this account. I had three other accounts that I maxed out on and that's pretty much my limit. So yes, we did get a shove it, shovel, shovel, sorry, meant to say shovel and a super potion. The shovel is going to be important because of course, yes, there's got to be some sort of Halloween obstacle spawning. And yes, we've got some major reorganization to do. Also speaking of free gems, I wasn't speaking of free gems, but, but here they are. Free gems, the pile, bag, sack, and boxes of gems with the gifts for your clan. Uh, I think this is a cool seasonal thing they do. Very happy that it showed up before any other updates so we can help fund. Well, okay, we're always buying gems on my account, as you may well be familiar. So now we're up to, uh, you know, 134,000 gems. But yes, we are going to help fund some other fellow fans and clan members and okay fine some of my own accounts as well now i could have done like eight or ten of my accounts and picked up the free gems but let's just stick to the ones that can really use it and also we can kind of here take a look and see how everybody else did galadon 14.0 just walls to go somewhere less than a hundred left can we finish them before the next update comes i don't know then we move on to no cash clash with the tiny season bank feels bad to be so small but hey that's what happens when you're free to play we picked up the rewards and we started a brand new season with a couple of free gems almost up to 3000 so that's pretty nice and then all the way down to Gold Pass Clash of Clans, which of course has the Gold Pass and picks up the massive season bank, 25 million gold, 25 million elixir, a quarter million dark elixir, and notice at the top of the screen, I did specifically leave a builder free so that we could put this loot to work and double whammy. We are going to be able to do that during Hammer Jam. So that is exciting. And make sure you watch for a future episode of Gold Pass Clash of Clans. Now, as we scroll to the bottom of use code Galadon, you can see that I have quite a few other accounts here. Galadon cap point one, two, three, and four, and no Clash Clash of Clans. So... Yeah, the capital raid accounts, that's exactly all they are, are accounts that were created specifically to do the weekend raids. And now, of course, maybe I'm regretting that because we have so many, but here we go. No clash, clash of clans, a sneak peek into the next episode. If, if there is a next episode, we'll have to wait, wait and see about that. But Town Hall 10 on its way to Town Hall 11, picking up 50 more free gems up to 839. So exciting times no doubt town hall 15 if it comes 18 months after 14 is very close the new october pass super exciting i love halloween and raid weekends as always galadon out there crushing it look at that i even have a raid left Twenty-four thousand capital gold with a raid remaining but yes i admit i am cherry picking i am using some of those other accounts to boost my numbers and it works out pretty well every single weekend. Now, like I promised, we are going to pick up the gold pass and jam it all the way to max. Yes, of course, we are using code Galadon in the shop, just as I hope you are as well. And here we go. Okay, so like I said, 
the more I like the skin, the more willing I am to spend the three to 4,000 gems to get all the way to the end of this so we can pick up the skin even though we only needed the one gem donations. The runes, everything else are going to get converted to gold. The only thing we can really use here, the season bank, of course, and then the capital gold that shows up here and there. And I think there's a shovel, right? Yeah, there is a shovel, which of course, we love shovels. Even though I protest against their cost, I still really, really need them. And as you know, I would probably buy 50 if they sold them. So don't tell Supercell that Galadon would drop 25k gems on a bunch of nearly useless shovels. Okay, let's get into the spirit, the Halloween spirit. Time to change the scenery. There it is, the pumpkin graveyard. And uh, yes, I have to say, love the high saturation of the colors here so we're gonna roll with the pumpkin graveyard for the remainder of october of course the skeleton king and the spooky queen are going to be rolling and then of course we've got a couple of more years i guess to wait until the set is done is there a set is there a spooky king wait I, uh, wait i don't even know hold on okay i just went and checked and of course no there is not a spooky king skin so we are a long ways away from a spooky set but you know it'll happen eventually right okay moving on the clan just galadon i know that many of you have been asking about the 1v10 wars uh yes they are coming back i promise we will start to roll for those wars again but what happened was i really screwed up the balance of this clan when i spent a bunch of gems gemming my town halls twos and threes up to six to turn them into capital rating accounts so yeah believe it or not i ended up making more town hall two accounts we're back to a good balance where we can run a 1v10 war no i am not going to run a 15 man cwl again that was a mistake and no we are never going to do 30 versus 30 wars either i am not insane now we are this weekend specifically trying to raid with every single one of my town hall six and above accounts which is a grand total of 28 accounts so 28 accounts times six raids each is somewhere in the range of 3,000 attacks i'm pretty sure that math is right i'm going to try to pull off 3,000 plus attacks this weekend it's going to be crazy it is going to take somewhere around 400 hours to get them done, but I think I can get them done between Saturday and Sunday. So that's exciting. Watch for that in a future video as we squeeze in as many clan capital raids as we've ever done in a single weekend and uh, possibly burn ourselves out, or maybe not. You know, we're just excited. I'm pumped. I'm ready for the next update. And this right here was a pretty fun attack. We clutched out the three star, and you can see that it's not bad for where we are in just Galadon. And I'm about uh, a third of the way through the accounts that need to attack here over Raid Weekend. You can see the list right here is starting to grow. We've got a couple of the viewer accounts. Gala Son of Beach, get your attacks done. And others like Gala Big Ship Brian. Big Ship, I said with a P. Okay, Gala Fam, that's the end of the video. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know I love, think about, it. appreciate all of you every episode. Just get out there and I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon, I thought you said a nasty word there. I was going to say cancel code Galadon. Everyone use code Peter17. <laughs>